Well, you might be wondering that, well, that Rogue One and Star Wars Story was the first theatrical or Star Wars spin-off movie, right? Well, you're actually wrong. Uh, because there was actually, well, because back in August 10th, 2008, well, there was actually an animated film, or well, an animated Star Wars movie, well, yeah, and it was basically a pilot, basically a pilot movie for the uh, for the show to come out. Oh, this was Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Yes, I know this is a Warner Brothers animated film, but who gives a crap? Oh, so might as well review it because this is actually a pilot episode. Oh, that's actually theatrical. Oh, it's, oh, so, oh, uh, when I was a kid, I right, I saw the trailers to this. I got extremely excited. Like I was super excited, but I never saw it in theaters. I was, I was excited because I was a big fan of the Star Wars series. This, I mean, this movie came, came out like three years after Revenge of the Sith. And for, uh, what this, and for what this film did, it really did not do very well. Like people declare, uh, it's the worst reviewed Star Wars movie of all time. People say like Episode Two or, uh, this one is like the worst of all of them. Me personally, this is my least favorite Star Wars movie. Wait, this one I actually kind of thought, I actually thought it kind of sucked. Not to say it's one of the, ooh, I, well, not to say it's horrible or something, it kind of sucks. But, the reason why I say kind of is that there are some good things in it, but honestly, from my personal opinion, it's, it's a bit of a bore and a snore fest. It's, it's surprisingly for a Star Wars movie like this. So... Uh, the story is about our main heroes, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, voiced by different actors. Uh, so, uh, what's going on is that the Separatists are, like, trying to, like, take over the, for the galaxy still. Uh, but they, when, uh, but Count Dooku and his minions basically, uh, oh yeah, um, capture Jabba the Hutt's son, when, and Anakin and his, and enter, uh, uh his apprentice, Ahsoka, Artano. Uh, also, uh, basically save him, and while Obi and also while Obi Wan Kenobi tries to find on who was the cause of all this, and and uh, and Anakin Skywalker basically Joe all save uh, Jabba's son Rada the Hutlet. What and that's it. So basically, they kidnap or the Separatists kidnap the uh the uh, Rada the Hutlet, blames the Republic, and then so that way, why well, Jabba the Hutt are uh, basically um. Or turns against them, which is really confusing. I mean, because Jabba the Hutt is basically a bad guy. Like, he's a gangster kind of character or something. On um, one end. Plus, the story itself of is it seriously makes no sense at all. Oh, like, it's worse than what episode 1 and 2 did. On end. On, what do you call it? On so. The uh, animation itself, for example, oh, well, it's not bad, it doesn't, f the other problem I have with it is basically the animation, is what I'm trying to say. Wait, it's not terrible animation, it feels like you're watching a TV quality animation, which was much better for TV, for a TV show. If the movie was basically released on TV, the animation actually would have been pretty, I actually think it would be pretty good, but it just feels cheap looking, I mean, surprisingly. Once in a while, there's a good visual, and... On some cool action scenes, and from the animation, um, which we'll get to that in a minute. Well, and plus, well, most of the characters feel very bland and generic. Like especially with some of the actors coming back, uh, to do their voices, like Samuel L. Jackson as Mace Windu and Ca and uh, Christopher Lee as Count Dooku. Well, which is pretty cool, but I don't know. Uh, but for some reason, they didn't really bring they. Well, some of these actors really. Like bring nothing new to it. Like they have nothing to work with. I think the only character that has a bit more development and it's actually more likable is of course Ahsoka Tano, who we will really love in the show. Well and even Star Wars Rebels. Well even the actress always does a good job doing the voice of her. Well and she has a lot of fun and she does put a passion into the character herself. <coughs> oh and when the show progresses, she <coughs> When the show progresses, she will become even more likable, at least lovable, as you might think. 
the uh, the orchestra in the movie feels very bland. On I will admit. I will. Well, the guy who does the orchestra does fine. He does try to make the um, on the music sound like the original John Williams. It just feels very stock, uh, style all of, of um, uh, well, of music basically. Even the action scenes are kind, of, are, are kind of bland as well. Like you've seen like a million times before. Alright, uh, so I don't know what else to say. Well, I will say the good stuff right now. Oh, so yeah, the good stuff. The like once in a while, there's a cool action scene, like some of the, oh, like the space battles and some of the uh, on the ground battles are really cool. Well, well, at times, like, but some of them, like I said before, this it's bore, I mean, it's bland. But um, what else? Well, the replacement actors, as I will admit, do a good job, uh, but like I said, they just has got nothing to work with. What's um, what, what do you call it? Oh, I'm trying to remember, folks. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, ugh. Oh wait. Wait. Right, so I guess that's pretty much it. What I have to say. Oh, right, luckily when, on when the TV show came out, it, oh, it was much much better. Or right, so I don't know what they were thinking. So it's not one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but honestly, it's basically my my least favorite Star Wars movie, we of all time. I I don't necessarily hate it, hate it, uh, but I will. I, mean, I don't know. Oh, it is the worst theatrical Star Wars movie I've ever seen, I, and a big disappointment. Oh, so I guess that's pretty much it for uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Also, I am excited for the new season that's coming out because I do love the show. It's a great show. It's just that this movie kind of sucks. And it was a, a big mistake. If the animation was done much better and if they did something new with this kind of story, maybe, maybe would have gotten something great. But as is, it's a big snore fest and a big disappointment for these Star Wars movies. Alright, so... I say, if you're just looking for a Star Wars film that has anim and that's basically animated on, and you just want to see something like a spinoff that's between Episode Two and Three, you might like this. Eh, all right, I guess. But for me, I say it's more of a skip. Uh, so if you just skip this movie, you wouldn't. I well, actually, if you just want to see this movie, in order to figure out on how Anakin Skywalker has an apprentice has like an apprentice or a padawan or something or maybe you get something good well like at least like it fine right, so like i said before i say skip it so uh that's my take on star wars the clone wars so tomorrow is rogue one a star wars story and if you have seen it what did you think like and what did you think of the tv show as well oh just comment below follow me on twitter facebook and start us on instagram oh don't forget to like don't forget to click like and share the video and subscribe and the bus to any critic and I will see you later. Take care.